Hello everybody, welcome back to all the mods Gravitas 2 and I think it is time we finally have some automations in making ingots basically making all of this stuff so we have a bunch of this stuff right a bunch of ores and things like that but it's a pain it's a real pain when you have to sit here and like have to manually producing ingot so i think in the last or like maybe i don't remember which of it but like the last two updates they add we finally have the tfc casting channel mods in here and what this does is that it will allow us to basically like fully not really fully but semi automate making ingot the only thing we have to do with them is start this thing it start the forge and after that you don't really need to do anything else at all you just let it run and it will produce insane like basically turn everything you put in there into ingot and all this into ingot all this into ingot so to do that we need a bunch of spaces so my plan is that I'm gonna move the create machine all the create machine like down here I will I will I think I will uh, rebuild the, the floor a bit here a bit and I also will put this um bloomery this two bloomery down there as well so yeah, it's how I'm gonna do it. First off, I have to clear this thing out first. There you go. And we use show bricks here. Yep, we use show brick here. Let's see, here you go. Show bricks. I'm gonna remove this part and put show brick in here. And completely remove this this stair over here because it's kind of making it really hard to go down to this side i'm gonna remove this part over here this as well okay so clearing this out done so how like the way oh my god what's it's lagging so the way i'm gonna do this is that i'm gonna stay here But why is it lagging? Okay. So I'm gonna stay here. So you're gonna go down here. So it's gonna be like easier to like move around. And this one will also be replaced with nope, not this thing. This stuff. So it like in line with the like border, like the copper the, the border over here. Then this will be need to drop break there we go so this how I want to be the design for this part and then for the fences I'm gonna put it here to kind of like over this side so you don't just fall down same for here and I'm gonna remove this uh bloomery these two bloomery and put them outside because well in here is too small for like for too small for this stuff and we also want to have more bloomery as time goes on oh it stopped raining let's go so remove this thing and then this spot over here that we are removing the bloomery is gonna be where we put our um automation of like, processing ingot so how it's gonna be looking is that uh, the create the create machine like the create rotation parts over there will keep going right going here but it's gonna go up here go up here and then it will connect with this create pump and the input 
I think the the cruci like the charcoal is gonna be inside here so that it doesn't burn the stuff out here. And then the pump is gonna be here and the chest is over here. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my inventory a bit and I'll be back in a minute so that we can start making the stuff. Okay, so here's how it's gonna be. Um, let me see, where do I want it to be? It should be here, right? So it should be right here. It's gonna be the oh it's gonna be the forge. It, which means that we don't need this part over there, over here. So I'm gonna clean this up. Let me get more dirt. Okay. Get more dirt. Let me go down here. Clean this stuff. So, because it's gonna be here, that means that. Hmm. Right. Let me see. Okay. So, because it's gonna be here, you have to put the the smell like the the forge down here. It's gonna be the forge. We don't need. The bellow because every single recipe in here, beside the, the mixing using the charcoal forge, only one of them, like 166, but only one of them need the brilliant white, and it's from turning cobblestone into lava. But other than that, everything else is yellow, which you can achieve that by just like normally running the forge. You don't need to have it like super high heat. So here's how it is. And then the hmm, let me think. Um so the pump is gonna be here. For sure. Right. On this side. We need a big pipe. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move it like into the wall on blocks so that it doesn't so like this. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna design it first, and I'm gonna be back and I'll show you how I'll show you guys how this thing is gonna look. Okay, so I think this is how it's gonna be right now, for now. So, before we testing a bit, uh, testing this stuff, I want to make a flint and steel because, well, using a fire starter is just gonna take forever, like, it's gonna be annoying. So, make a flint and steel. Flint and steel. Just need a flint and a steel ingot, which we already have a steel ingot. To get us it over here, and yeah, we make a flint and steel. There we go. Now we can just right click in this thing, and we don't need to like oh shift right click. There's one thing I want to try, and that is how do we input auto input the uh, charcoal in here? So I don't know if copper is gonna be, but um, hmm, let me think. Because if we can make copper doing that, then we can just make a chest like around here and hopper into it over here, and we just put charcoal in there, and we will automatically put it in, and then we have another chest over here with a hopper over there. And this is gonna be like the chest over here, like right, right before, right, right this side. It's gonna be where we put the input in. And we can't accept. Uh, hmm. Okay, I will. I think I'll. I'll try. I'll go into a creative world bit. And uh, I'll test it out. See if it works with the hopper. Okay, we're back in. Now we are in the. Like the creative world 
And I was just testing testing this thing out that you see here. This is the design that I made. The creative wall cost. Like the rotational cost, something like that. And it run in this thing. Uh so what I want to know is uh Right time. So what I want to know is that can I input a let me take out this thing first and then wait for it to cool down. Oh uh, not so the moment you break the block it's just turned into oh and still how about this? Oh, we need a charcoal in, I think. Yeah, it can. It doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. So how do we input charcoal inside? Hmm. Or do we not able to do that? Maybe we have to be in survival mode. Oh my god, it's so hard. What the? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, what the heck? Hmm. This is kinda not good because then we'll have to change our uh, our um design again because how do we put this thing in? Okay, so I I got I guess. This is kind of one of one of the design that works, but okay. Let me explain what is happening here. So here is the the chest you put like charcoal, lignite, petunias go in, right? This is the chest that you put stuff like this thing in. So what's happening is that when you have this item, like this chest here, having items here. And it input the items into the basin. The basin will like send out a redstone signal into the comparator. Depend on how many items in here, but it doesn't matter. You just need to send the signal into a redstone repeater to extend it, because well, the lowest it can go is one. The lowest signal that the basin can it, it, it can output is one. So as long as you have one here. You can send the signal into the like, outside, into a block, into this redstone torch, so it can turn off the redstone torch. And yeah, so because it's turning off redstone torch, this thing will working. It still like will work because in the here it said that if there is a redstone signal, this thing the mechanical arm will not. Will stop working so by turning it off it will be working and what the mechanical arm here is doing is that it takes the items from this chest from the depot and put them into here so that sounds good and cool and it's working but the problem is that every time we want to work with something it will waste four pieces of coal because we cannot detect how many in here and we can have but we can't really tell it like how many you can basically there's no way to stop wasting the lignite here because one is starting to put input from here to here it will just keep doing it until it cannot be like putting in oh this thing is like not full anymore so yeah i guess that's the way to do it but for now we will probably just manually putting the charcoal in since this is kind of a waste charcoal like or coal or between this coal or lignite so i guess this just rem like not care about automating putting uh charcoal in the forge then we just care about the stuff up here so i'll go back into the survival world and We'll finish building this machine.
Okay, so we bite into the survival wall. So because we cannot automate in, bring in the charcoal, so that means that we will have to move this thing out so that we have access into it by here. And I guess we have to redesign everything then, huh? So I'm just gonna break everything. Break this too and move all of this. Okay, I'm probably just gonna do this off camera as well. Because well fittering around is not really that good to watch anyway. So but the main thing is that I don't want it to be too close to the like strip chestnut lock here. Because then it can burn the strip chestnut lock, like the charcoal when it's working. It can burn stuff. I want to make the mold table. This thing. And we need five hour night fire clay. The mold table. Then we fire this thing up. Only need one. Because we have the plane and steel right now, we can just right click it pretty fast. That's one thing done. Uh, let's see, let me think. So we need to pump, pump this thing over into a hopper. This one is here. So the chest can be here. Hopper should be here. And the multiple is going to be there. The chest is going to be here. The ingot is going to be poured inside. Do we need a spout to pour into? I don't remember. Okay, we have the mold table. This should be, yep. Okay, yeah, we can work with this. So we only need one uh, ingot mold for it to work. Because, well, I don't know, but it only need one and it's never break. That's kind of a really funny thing. That's one thing done. Now we need a hopper, which is going to be next to this. And I think this is going to... Yeah, this is done. We make like four hopper from this. Take a chest. Just take two chests. Take here. Two place. And yeah, we have four hopper. And this is going to be where we put the ingredient, like the, the ore in. And this should be it. This is pretty much done. Uh, let me clean this up a bit. Looks ugly. There we go. So this is pretty much the uh, machine now. Like the automation for processing. So... To test it out, we're probably just gonna try it right away, right? So put this thing away. Flint and steel can put it here. I'll put it up here. This thing can go away now, we don't need it. You go away. I need one dirt. In between episode, I'll put down all the machine, the other machine, and put it over here somewhere around here and then redesign this place a bit make it look better for now i'm just gonna want to have this thing done because like processing is just gonna be so much easier okay so the one problem with this top with this like small design is that you can only run one at a time and you have to make sure that the liquid is not like leftover in here so there's no leftover liquid otherwise it's just gonna get stuck so let me just get this thing done so in theory this is 5.3 right so if we have 10 stack of this it's gonna be 53 ingot and we just get ignite it's five for now I should have bring this thing with me all the time, but the two boxes like, doesn't even have enough. I just throw this in here. 
Oh, I forgot to click it. What? Uh, what? Then no. No, it's this. Oh, I know why. Ah. Uh, we need a. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use this then. Or maybe we use this. It's not over here. We need a open area. Uh, no, maybe here. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. This I don't know logic of the game. So is this should work, right? Yeah. Okay. We need an open area. Otherwise, not working. So this is gonna be. I'm waiting until it's gonna be hot. We can put a bellow here, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter. And the bellow don't really do anything because you don't need like more than yellow the temperature. So it should work any time now. And just put back this up. Let me see. Yep, here you go. And we can see the magic is gonna be. Yep. So you don't even need to cool this thing down because create for some reason just magically make it get cooled themselves down by itself and instantly. So now we can just put stuff in here and let it run by itself. We can mass producing a bunch of ingot. I'll probably exchange this into a create. Create? No, not create. Create. Because this thing has 72 slot and it's also a good thing that we should be doing this because in the quest book we have the reward for the steel anvil a set of soft storage terminal from integrated dyna integrated dynamics and this thing can help and allow us to have like early access to like refines like basically like a kind of similar design, similar setup with refined storage or A2 and it's gonna be so much better than just going around looking into chests like this and using crate like this is just like so much better than having a bunch of normal chests so I think this is pretty much it so one thing I don't like about this is that you have to be here like monitoring it otherwise uh, you can't just let it like chunk loading it and let it run because the charcoal the, the lignite is gonna run out like, this stuff is gonna run out and you have to refill it so you have to be here like pretty like, uh, basically like, every time the charcoal is run out and you can't just let it like, sit here forever yeah see 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 you see that you see there it's burning so I think there's a way to prevent that which is just putting a slap over it basically block every single place that it can burn and it will not be able to burn but I think it's gonna be so I'm just gonna block these two as well so two more slap and put it over here so it should be not burning over here, I can't really do anything because we need like space to access this. So it should be fifty-three ingot of rich garnia, right? Uh, uh, nickel ingot. So while working, I think we can go and look at our mine or miner. Also doing some farming as well. Also, the pumpkin already grew, but uh, they don't, they don't, they didn't like, they don't really grow like how this stuff over there growing. But this stuff, it's like it just randomly grow, and it's a really bad way of. Like, basically, it's really bad for our uh, harvesting because that means that. Each harvest is like having one day like different. And yeah, it's I don't know. I, I don't I don't really like it, but it's the only way we can have plenty of food and 
It's the only plant that can work right here. Beside melon. So let's go to our um, mine. And see how it's working right now. One of them should be done right now. Yeah, I think this one's done. It's not running anymore. Either it's done or it's running out of steam. Yeah, it's done. So this is the bituminous coal. Let's pick it up. There we go. There we go. That is one more bin. So I'll keep letting it run over here because we need a lot of this actually. And we I don't want to like go back and mine a bunch anymore. So I'll go back, take a lot of this. Here you go. Usually one of this like 10 bucket, 10 milli bucket of water is enough for like one vein, like one mining like this. Also, I forgot. Charcoal. Two, yeah, two is enough. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys right away right now how I do it. This mining thingy. This miner. So it's pretty dark right here. So, where is it? Yeah, this is the center of the vein. So when I, when you go around and you find a vein, I, you will try, I will try to make a center like this. So basically here is where the center of each direction, like how we do back in the first couple episodes. Oh my god, I'm scared. Yes. So I'll let the steam miner run up here first. In the center and then from the center we will go eight blocks in four direction and then from that we go to that direction like it's gonna be basically all around the vein like that or rather center like that so we already did a eight block over there i'm gonna go eight block over here so one two three four five six seven eight and this is gonna be another minor looking okay. let me see so pressing F3, oh, it's in a trunk already. So we don't have to care about loading. We don't have to load two chunk at all. So we just throw these two out. Let's see, this is one chunk, right? So we claim this chunk and we also load this chunk. And then we take out the barrel of water. Oh wait, we don't need to do that. Just keep forgot, forgetting that we can you can just right click, yeah. Shift right click or right click it in and yeah, that's it. It's gonna work by itself. You have it force loaded, like chunk loaded already, so I'm just, I'm just I will just I will just let it run until like I think around half an hour and I will come back and check it if it's done or not. So, yeah, I think this is it for the episode. Oh, you see that? This is what I was talking about. It's going to burn stuff. Uh, that is going to be annoying. Uh, I mean, we can prevent that by putting a block over there, but... Okay, so I think this is it for the episode. Um, In the next set one, I actually don't even know what to go. Oh. Bucks right there. In the next one, I'll probably because we are gonna have a bunch of meadows in between episode. Uh, actually, I think next one we will try to like process food. I'm running out of food right now, and we don't have any bread. I'll try to make the oven in firmer life, and we can make a bunch of bread and well. From there, we will have our health go back up to over a thousand. So yeah, this is it for the episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.